we're here, nothing changes. One, two. So as I'm here, good. I started looking for my sleeve, he posts his leg. So I tuck this in, my foot goes on his hip to help me rotate. And I, at the same time, I'm driving this into my hip. Now as I start climbing, I'm here. As I said, we can grab the belt or the pants, but I like to keep everything compressed. And I'm gonna sit up like this. I don't like to uh, have my legs straight or, or my knees pointed away. The reason why is Matt, like lift the shoulder up here. Okay, he can bring me back down. Now watch the difference. So if I take my knee and I go like triangles with my legs and I put my knee into his shoulder blade like this, there's a lot of weight on your shoulder. It just changed. There's a lot of weight on his shoulder. He'll tell you the tension's already there. I don't have to sit up far, okay, to get the finish, but I want my knee pointed like this to get the finish. This one, it kind of is what it is. It's like I'm more like ready to move and have base or whatever, but this is the one I really want to drive. Now, inevitably what, happen, inevitably what happens is you go against a big guy, he's very hard to finish. So you're like trying to get him flat, he's athletic, he starts bouncing, he starts looking up. As he looks up, we're just gonna transfer to triangle. Boom, readjust and get the finish. So we're here, all right. So one, two, drop my foot here, he lifts, okay. I rotate, start driving this in. Matt starts feeling this. So as soon as I, I start coming around, he, he postures because he feels it. And see how he's posted on his right hand? Very normal to look up. But look at what it does. It gives me the space to put this in. Boom. All right, I can close this up. I like to put the, uh, the outside one on top. So this is the one that's biting. So I like this one on the bottom, the one that's causing the, and then I'll just readjust accordingly and then finish. Cool?